Captain Ali, last question before we open up the room uh, to questions. Given what we just heard, how can we? How does the does the EPA even have a role of getting the Kuwaiti citizen involved? How can we make Kuwait care about the environment that's looked at as a luxury today? Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, just give me one second. I want just to review uh, or to say uh, a few words I've, I've said before in other in another way. When I talked, uh, when I talked about the media and the parliament, of course, uh, you know, to, to transfer the information from uh, a govern- from the uh, government body to the people, this way of trans- uh, uh, transferring the information has to be uh, knowledgeable uh, and in, in, in the best of, of, of what they can. What I mean is, the media here in Kuwait, they just transfer the information as a test, without analyzing the information in a, in, in a way that could be understandable uh, with the people, uh, for, uh, by the people. This is number one. When I say the parliament, parliament, parliament the, 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 the committee, the environmental committee in the, in, uh, in the parliament, the chairman of that committee, he's an environmentalist, he's a scientist. He knows when we talk about the environment, he knows what we are talking about. But what I mean, I'm, I'm meaning in, in general, people who from the, uh, from the parliament, when they talk about environment, they, they, they just talk as they read. From where is the source, they don't mind. Of course, to have a position in the parliament, they just talk about the bad things. They never talk about the good things being done by EPA or by other sectors. This is number one. What we can do, or what we have to do, uh, uh, to keep, in, in a world, to keep Kuwait clean, environmentally. Of course, we have done a, good, uh, a lot of things, and we are still doing. And we have our own strategy to do a lot. One of our strategies, we have a kind of... Uh, you know, we are not an industrial country. The only industry we have is the oil sector, which is uh, our, our main income. So either we need our sal- we want our salaries or we want our salaries. But we, if you, you want your salary, you have to, uh, 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 to uh, give a hand to the oil sector to work smoothly. But in environmental, why not in environmental way? Uh, uh, when we said... We need a new refinery, environmental friendly refinery. There was an objection. When we said we need a clean fuel, there was an objection. When we said we need to reduce emissions, there was an, you know, most of that was money wise. How much the country have to spend in doing all these things? Can I we, just, we as, uh, if you allow me, we as, uh, as environmentalists, we don't care. How much does that uh, cost? We don't care. What we care is that the environment has to, to become clean. Thank you. Dr. Sami, can you respond to that, what you just heard? You want the same question? Not same question, just give us your thoughts based on, um, you know, saying that there are these issues in Kuwait and, you know, you're leading sort of the system that you think is going to be effective for Kuwait. How can we implement it? How can we address these issues uh, and that Captain Ali mentioned and several of other the attendants in the room? I will present my point of view here. I mean, I am uh, doing... Briefly, cons- please, so we can have <laughs> the audience ask you questions. Doing <laughs> consulting for both government and the private sector and, you know, the, the government companies. Uh, again, uh, integration is uh, uh, very much required. I think they're uh, we're based on uh, uh, people's awareness. We have to establish a regulatory system based on an environmental management system approach where you integrate between the requirements of the regulatory agency or the regulatory authority and what is required from the uh, regulated uh, community. A cyclic approach, similar to the environmental management system approach that is used by companies, that is very transparent, very clear. That starts with people's awareness, responding to people's awareness, 
by setting very clear goals. Once you set your goals, you have to establish a, a management mechanism. Management mechanism is no longer mandatory only. Mandatory, we can look at voluntary, we can look at market-based, because today, when we talk about implementing regulations, we talk about only a mandatory approach where you have a stick and a carrot, and this does not work anymore here in Kuwait. We have to also look at the voluntary approach. When we look, when we see a company like Dow here in Kuwait taking leadership in environmental protection, we shouldn't work with them as a voluntary, as a mandatory. We, let's, let's talk to each other and discuss how we can help Dow promote environmental protection. And then once the management approach is uh, selected, we identify requirements. We have, uh, we have problems of identifying requirements here. We look at requirements as laws only. No, we have laws, we have regulations, we have to set policies, we have to look at guidelines, we have to look at permits, we have to look at licensing. It's a, 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 a systematic approach that we want to put there. Once, once we establish this systematic approach, we have to promote, uh, promote uh, compliance, help regulatory community comply. Then we, uh, we evaluate their behavior, put good performance indicators, and see what's the response of the society. Uh, when, we saw, when we talk about response of a society here in this small uh, 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 country is involvement of the parliament all along. Okay, whatever reports you, are, you want to produce, just present it right in front of them. And the idea of this integration, especially from the air pollution point of view, to establish something to, to, similar to the SIP in the United States. We all heard about the SIP in the United States. State implementation plans that would lead to national implementation plan. We call it the NACIP, National Air Quality Implementation Plan. We come at the end of the day and we put a plan and we say, okay, this is how much we want to achieve into reduction to protect the people of, um, of Umm al-Himan and the proposed uh, uh, Sheikh Sabah al-Ahmed city. We put it right there in the parliament and, the, and have them sign it. And we tell them, okay, these are the guidelines. You come and evaluate them, evaluate us against them. This is, a, I think, a, a good way of, 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 of involving all the concerned parties together into implementing the regulations uh, that will lead to uh, protection of the environment. Thank you. Before, I know there's a lot of questions, but what I'm going to do is I'll have to end this forum right now. And there is an informal session we're having outside the snacks where you can ask your questions directly to any of the participants. Can we have a round of applause for all the panelists um, who joined us today. <laughs>